you can't really understand the world without understanding religion. I think there's a, a misconception that um, religious studies is theological studies or it's some kind of devotional approach to religion. Uh, actually, we're not here to promote uh, you know, a particular worldview. We're here to learn about worldviews. We're talking about a force that affects many people's lives. Even if someone is an atheist, religion affects his or her life. The primary goal of my research is to highlight differences of opinion. I want students and readers and other professors, colleagues, to challenge our assumptions and to see what is actually out there. We're currently working on a project called Muslims in the Midwest, an oral history project. Muslims have played a big role in the Midwest historically. You know, many people don't know that it was a Muslim who designed the Sears Tower, now called the Willis Tower. The so-called Mother Mosque of the United States is in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. The desired outcome is to produce a digital archive documenting the history of Muslims in the heartland. I myself am interviewing uh, the founders of the Islamic Center of East Lansing, African American Muslims who knew Malcolm X. I'm just excited about this, this idea of sort of challenging monolithic understandings uh, and, and challenging one-dimensional portrayals of Muslims in America. So there's a rich history and, and we just want to tell, that, tell these stories, share these stories with the broader public. Imagining what Hazali would have looked like. I was honored to receive the MSU Teacher Scholar Award. What it says is that my students appreciate my abilities to teach. In the classroom, you have this collaborative experience where I might say something, a student might ask a question, I begin to think about something from a different angle. The end result is extraordinary impact. Michigan State University has been extremely supportive of my research, of my teaching, of my service. And I feel welcome here.